Hey, my name is Jamo Jackson Carter, and today I'm going to do Living in the Dominican Republic, part two. Uh, last time I made a video, uh, I had only been in the country for about three months. Um, now I've been here for about, uh, for about 11 months now. So, and today I'm mostly just gonna answer questions that were in the comments section in the last video. And so let's get started with the first question. Uh, no, it is not necessary to have uh, citizenship here. Um, I've been living, like I said, I've been living here for 11 months and I work here and I have no visa at all. Uh, my tourist visa expired like five months ago, you know, so I am an illegal immigrant. But the worst thing that happens um, is, you know, when you leave the country, they do fine you for like 2,500 pesos which is like $55 or something, like $60, so it's not that big of a deal. However, if you do work like in a call center or a more, a more formal job, um, they do, the company does require you to apply for a work visa, uh, which costs about 25,000 pesos, which is like $500, $550. So, and it's a bit of a tedious process so like I said, if you work for like a formal company or a call center, you do have to go through that process. But in general, it's not necessary and it's not that big of a deal uh, not to have a visa or anything like that, so, or a citizenship. Okay. Yeah, crime is very real here. It's definitely something to consider when you're moving. Uh, there's a lot of theft, you know, stealing purses, wallets, um, cell phones, little things like that. Uh, someone told me one time a lady was walking down the street with her purse around her shoulder and a guy on a motorcycle, while riding the motorcycle, came and just grabbed the purse while riding and just, you know, rode off and stuff. So, you know, thieves are very creative here, uh, you know, stealing in the home. You know, I've heard a lot of that. So it's definitely something to be aware of. However, you know, personally, I have never experienced any crime and I've lived in, you know, San Ysidro, which is a little bit outside of Santo Domingo. It's a bit of a, you know, it's a dangerous area. Uh, I lived in San Cristobal before, you know, which I say that because those aren't the nicest places, but I still haven't experienced anything. So the way to counteract, you know, you know, crime, I guess is obviously you know, staying out of dangerous areas, you know, not walking, not walking around, you know, at night, you know, asking for trouble and stuff like that. And so, you know, like I said, I haven't experienced experienced anything, but you know, just from what I've heard uh, here, you know, crime is very real, and it's definitely something to think about um, before you know you come out here. Uh, the cost of living is fairly cheap, you know, in general. You know, obviously compared to the US, it's a lot cheaper. However, not everything, you know, is cheap. You go to uh, you know, a major supermarket, you go to the mall, you know, clothes are gonna be about the same price or even higher at times, you know, groceries, like I said, the same price or even higher because of the importation, because uh, of the importing and stuff, so. So, but specifically, you know, I live in like in a three bedroom, two bathroom, it costs about $600, it costs like $600 a month, which is like 27, 28,000 pesos. Um, utilities like water, gas, electricity, uh, phone bill, uh, electri uh, internet, uh, it costs about $200, so about $800 in total a month. So it's very doable. Um, and that's fully furnished, a fully furnished apartment. If you're talking about you know single bedroom, looking at like fifteen thousand pesos. Uh, I have a friend who actually lives in Gasquay. It's a, uh, an area. It's a nice area in Santo Domingo. He had he has an apart a single bedroom apartment for about eight thousand pesos, which is pretty nice. I don't think it's furnished, but you can find stuff like that out here. It's just pretty. It's pretty. Uh, it's, the cost of living is pretty cheap here in general, and stuff like that. So you know. If you're, you know, in school, 
university or high school, you know, you, you work a job for two years, you know, you want to come out, uh, you know, live abroad, it's very doable. Or if you're in the working world, you know, corporate world, you want to, you know, relax, you know, have a nice time in a tropical country, it's very, very easy, very possible, uh, very doable, you know, to come out here and uh, live, you know, uh, fairly cheap and save money and stuff like that. To get a job here is, is fairly simple um, because if you only speak English, um, there's only really two options. There's, you know, working at a call center or teaching English. First, let's talk about the call center. Uh, like I said earlier, to work at a call center, you need to get a work visa. However, you can start uh, working in the call center while uh, you're, the process of getting your work visa, you know, is going, you know. But working at a call center, you know, from personal experience, I've worked at Stream, which is a pretty popular one here. Is the work is 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 not it's not very good. It's very boring. It's very unfulfilling. You know, uh, you know, you're sitting down for eight hours a day. You know, taking calls. You know, and it's just I don't know. For me personally, it really it, really, it, it wasn't for me. You know, and I've talked to other people. Uh, who have said the exact same thing, you know, it's just, it's, and it's not that much money either because you're getting paid maybe 135 pesos an hour, which is like three or it's like four dollars maybe, three or four dollars an hour to take calls for eight hours a day. It's not really worth it. Um, but like I said, to get that job though, you have to um, apply for the work visa. Now the the other job teaching English um, is is what I do now, and I would highly recommend if you're gonna move here, you want to work here. I would highly recommend uh, teaching English. It's you know very fulfilling, very rewarding. Um, you build real relationships, uh, you know, with your students. You know, it's you, it's a dynamic uh, profession teaching English. Yeah, it's very cool. And also uh, with the school I work in, Academia Europea. Um, I do not need a work visa, so I don't have to go through that process. I don't have to spend that 25,000 pesos, like 500, 550 dollars, you know. So uh, it's really, really, uh, I, I like that about it. Um, there are some uh, other, like other lang uh, private language schools um, in the area. I don't know if you need a work visa, but I, I would guess that you probably don't. They probably just accept anyone uh, and stuff like that. So. You know, to, to get to become a teaching uh, to become, you know, an English teacher at a you know a private language academy is very easy. It's very simple, and uh, you know it's very rewarding too. So, you know, I would highly recommend that. So, like I said, to get a job, and you know, if you only speak English, in a call center, you have to get you have to apply for the work visa, and then um, at uh, teaching English at a private language academy, uh, you just walk in, you show them your resume. And, you know, you're a native speaker, they'll probably just take you, you know, right away. So, yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, I saw this question um, on the com in the comments section, and uh, I thought it was very interesting. So, I'm going to answer this question. Uh, I'm going to give a broad answer, you know, not just if you're black, but, you know, everyone. Um, I would highly recommend, first of all, if you're coming here, taking some Spanish lessons, you know, being able to communicate, you know, is very important. You know, talk to people. You know, just talking about Dominicans. Um, I'd also highly recommend taking some some uh, dancing lessons. You know, dancing here is very you know entrenched into the culture. Uh, very important. You know, I would recommend you know taking bachata lessons, merengue lessons. Those are very common, typical dances here. Um, it's a great way to meet people in a bar, you know, or a club. Great way to introduce yourself, meet some people, you know. Now, if you're a guy, you know, looking for a girl or a woman, you know, uh, it's very easy. You know, you're kind of looking for a flame, just a little flame, you know what I mean? Uh, it's very easy to find, you know, you speak a little, you know, you practice a little Spanish, you know, you dance a little bit, you know. It's pretty easy. There's a lot of, a lot of women out there. Very beautiful women. That's one thing about this country. There's many, many 
it's the, I think it's the diversity, the Spanish mixed with the African, mixed with the indigenous, the Taino. There's a lot of beautiful women here in this country. And so it's very easy to find, you know, a flame, I guess, if you're looking for that. Now you're talking about, you know, a long-term relationship. You know, obviously, mm, it can be a little bit more challenging, you know, but uh, now if you're talking about like a woman and looking for a guy, you know, into that, um, that is pretty easy as well, I think, because guys here are, are I think, you know, there's a machismo culture, machismo culture, you know, guys here are kind of aggressive. So if you're into that, you know, you're tired of kind of the plain pickup lines in your local bar, you know, that normal stuff. You want something a little bit more aggressive, I guess. You know, you're into that. Um, coming here, you'll find that for sure. So, like I said, it all dating all depends on what you want and stuff. You know that, but uh, yeah, dating is pretty easy here, I think, in general. So, uh, yeah, all right, cool. Thank you so much for uh, watching "Living in the Dominican Republic" Part Two. Um, if you have any questions. Please feel free to ask in the comment section or if you have you know any comments please feel free to share there as well uh, like I said thank you so much and I hope you uh, learned something and um, yeah I really appreciate uh, you watching